Wow, this wig is something else. Today I'm here to show you Henry Margot Claire in the color, what color is this? 626H. This is quite the contrast in colors for sure. This wig has a ton of permatease. It is very full. That can be really fun, but we'll talk all about it right now. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I'm partnering with Name Brand Wigs to bring you this review. They sent me Claire so I could show you and tell you all about this one and tell you all about the color. If you're here only to see color, I do include that at the very end of the video. I have timestamps in the description box below. You can skip ahead to that segment or any segment that you care most about. Name Brand Wigs is a wonderful online retailer. You can find a link in the description. Um, they carry all the major name brands. They have a great customer service team. You can reach out to them if you need help, if you need recommendations, maybe you're looking to match a certain hairstyle, you can email them support at namebrandwigs.com and they'll help you. Let's take a look at Claire from all sides and then we'll talk about her. This wig is something else. This has quite a fair amount of volume. Now, I have had wigs with a lot more permatease than this one has, so it has some, quite a bit right up here, but really it's, a, it's not an excessive amount of permatease. But the style is voluminous. There are a ton of layers in this piece. And this curl pattern that gives it a lot of volume. If you've been losing your hair for a long time, this may be challenging for you because it's a very full wig. I'm gonna show you a trick that I always use with wigs, either just to, because I love to wear headbands and wigs, or, you know, here's the thing. I'm comfortable with a lot of wigs at this stage of my wig wearing journey. I've been wearing wigs for six years. In the beginning, this would have overwhelmed me. But even though there are certain styles that there are days I love them, other days I just don't want all the volume and a headband can really help with that. You can kind of just stick it in. You can play with the hair however you want, you know, get it inside the headband. But a really good hack is to tuck that hair behind your ears and that is going to reduce volume in an unbelievable way. Like you would, you would, you would struggle to see a wig as the same wig when you put it a headband on it and you tuck it behind your ears. So really a great hack if you have some wigs that you're not wearing or maybe you buy a wig you don't know if you're gonna like it, you can always throw a headband on it and that will give you time to get used to it. This wig is made with regular synthetic fibers and the good news is a wig of this length is going to last a very long time because there's no friction on it. It's not rubbing up on your clothing. So you could get a wig like this and if you don't wear it every day, you could have it for years and years, especially if you um, like to style it in different ways. It will feel like a different hairstyle every time you wear it with a different style. This is the inside of the cap. It's a basic cap, also known as a machine-made cap. A lot of open wefting on this piece. We've got ear tabs with bendable stays, an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and you know, no fancy cap features of any sort. I'm just going to cinch in these adjusters just a little bit. Henry Margot is known for running pretty true to average. Um, this wig is fitting me really true to average. I have a 22, wait a minute, 21 and a quarter circumference. And this, I cinched it in a fair amount. So I think this is going to fit up to 22, maybe even a little larger than 22 inches. There is a lot of stretch on this piece. It's a very stretchy wig. I am getting a little bit of extra cap over the top. I have a pretty small over the top of my head measurement. All of my measurements are in the description box below, so you can find them down there. Um, so I do think this is running pretty true to average. Overall, this is just a full voluminous wig. If you like big hair, this is big hair. You can certainly do some styling hacks to make it a little bit less voluminous, but it is very, very voluminous. And you could play this up and get a lot of volume out of this piece. So if you love volume, you found your wig. For those of you who like to wear a full bang, you can absolutely cut the bangs on this. Now the bangs are a little long, as you can see, which is 
actually really common because everybody has different forehead measurements. So if they cut bangs too short, they're gonna limit. They're gonna limit, I should say, the number of people who will be able to wear the wig because of the short bangs. So keeping the bangs a little bit long allows this wig to fit a wider variety of people. I have a video showing how to trim bangs with a thinning razor, so foolproof and really easy. So I will make sure that's linked below. So if you were to get a wig like this and think I want to wear it with a full bang, but the bangs are too long, use that thinning razor to trim it right up, and and you'll be able to customize it to fit your measurements. Other than that. There's no cap feature, so you're not getting, you're not putting the hair up off off of your head, and so you know strategically arranging these so that it stays down and doesn't show that hard front is what you'll want to do. Let's talk about color 626H. In the Henry Margot line of wigs, when there's an H in the color code, that means it's a heavily highlighted piece. So we have got a dark brown with gold and blonde highlights. So the codes, a number six is a medium dark brown and a 26 is like a golden blonde. This is a fairly dark brown. I would say this is almost darker than the typical six. Now part of that could be because of the blonde highlights, it's really a contrast and it makes the brown look darker. This is not a warm brown. This is not showing any red or auburn. It is a very neutral dark brown. And that blonde, very blonde next to that dark brown. I mean, it is a contrast. If you love super contrasting highlights, I mean, this kind of reminds me of like the 80s frosted hair in a lot of ways. And those highlights are very prominent. Then this could be the right color for you. It's not subtle, that's for sure. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. You can check below for some helpful videos and a link to this wig. Thanks for watching you guys and don't forget about name brand wigs the next time you're in the market for a major name brand. See you soon. This color, it's really gonna come through out here. With this natural light, you're really gonna be able to see the contrast between the dark and the light. It's a fun color, oh my goodness. I'm filming this before I filmed my review, so I'm not sure what I will say about the color, but if you're afraid of people asking you where you get your hair colored, I would not choose a color like this. Eventually somebody's going to say, oh my gosh, I love your hair color, where do you get it done? Just be prepared with an answer and that question won't be so scary. Just know how you'll you'll respond. So pretty. Fun fun. Have a great day. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.